mind. Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See if it changes. See if it stays the same. Spirit, come through. Hold your ears. Come through, spirit. Let's see what's going on with the earth benders. Mm -hmm. Spirit, come through from Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. If this resonates, give me a thumbs up. Spirit, come through. I'm going to have some messages for Virgo. Don't worry about it. If it don't resonate, don't worry about it, okay? Male and female. I'm talking to you both, okay? Even if it sounds like I'm talking to the, the females, if it resonates with you, it's for you, my brothers. Okay? <clears throat> I know how sensitive some of y'all can be. You want to hear him, her. Okay. Let's look into this energy. For him and for her. <laughs> I can have some messages for Virgo Spirit come through. The first position you have, Virgo, is mm, Ten of Swords. Okay. Mm hmm. First position, oh. Ace of Swords, mm -hmm. Five of Swords, Jesus, some of y'all are dealing, definitely dealing with air signs, okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, mm -hmm. we have the Fool, we have the Six of Pentacles, okay, We got the high priestess. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got the star. Okay, we got the eight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Queen of wands. Mm -hmm. We have the page of wands. Okay. Uh huh. We have the five of cups in reverse. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where's my wine? Give me one of them. Oh, God. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you guys see that? Is that in your eye shot? Okay. Let's see if I can pull down a little bit more. These are some large cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust the camera one minute. So you guys have mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Three? Okay, we'll take it. One, two, three, four. We got four major iconas. We will definitely take them, okay? All right, at the bottom of the deck. We got the ace of cups, okay. Alright. That's better. That's better. Alright, the love is in the air for you, honey. Somebody is really in love with you. They're making plans for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person likes to like to surprise you, okay? Mm hmm They don't like you to know their every move. They don't like you to know truly how they feel about you. Okay. This person likes to play hard to get or they like to play um like they like you really don't have their nose wide open or something like that. Like they really not interested. But it's the furthest thing from the truth, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're their wish fulfillment. You got the nine of cups, Virgo. This person loves you. You're everything that they pray for, that they desire, that they want. You're the wish fulfillment. You're what they want. Yeah, they want to work on this with you, Three of Pentacles. This person might work very hard, maybe two, three jobs or something like that. Uh-huh, they may be all, always at work or something like that, and they don't have enough time for you. Uh-huh, that might get on your nerves. Where you at? Where you at? I'm at work. I'm at work. This person always at work. 
Okay, you might have met this person at work. You guys may work together. However you look at it, they do want to work on this with you. Don't think they don't. They got feelings for you, okay? They also got plans for you. You're something special to them, okay? Mm, what the freak is this? Her if I in reverse, this person might not want no commitment, okay? You might feel at times that this person wants you and then they don't want you. Because mm, that's literally what it is. They're giving you, I want you, I want, I want us, and then they're giving you, nope, I don't want nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very bipolar energy, back and forth. This person wants you, and then they don't want you. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. Lord have mercy. They're not putting enough effort in. Mm -hmm. They do want you, but then they don't want you, okay? This person don't call you enough. They don't visit you enough. They don't reach out enough. They're not putting enough effort in for you, okay? This indicates empty victories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They may talk a good game. But their actions fall short, okay? The person's, this person cares too much about what he, whatever people think, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, if if people don't like you, okay, they get in this person's head. And this person lets them get in their head, too. This person could be weak at times, okay? Let's see what's going on. Lordly, lordly. I go away for a couple of damn days. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. My allergies is messing with me. Please excuse my sniffing. Okay. Mm -hmm. First position, we got the Ten of Swords. Something has ended here. You have ended something with this person, or this person has ended something with you. This was a painful ending, too. Okay. You might have broke up with this person, and you really didn't want to. Okay. This person could have betrayed you, backstabbed you, left you brokenhearted, left you crushed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, nonetheless, they want to talk to you now. They want now. They want open dialogue, open communication, face-to-face -face communication. Now they want to explain themselves, okay? Mm -hmm. Probably due to some deception. Totally taking advantage of you or something like that. This is why you cut it off or this is why they cut it off or something like that. This ended because of some sort of deception. Betrayal, backstab, energy, lying, still and cheating, some sort of conflict here between you and this person. This person just wasn't being honest with you, totally taking advantage of you or something like that. And this is why they're not having any luck. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? This is bad luck. This is loss, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is delays. Nothing is going right for this person, okay? They're hoping and praying for a brand new beginning, a brand new start, a fresh start, okay? Now they want to equally give you, too. You got the Six of Pentacles. They want to equally, uh, equal give and take with you now, okay? This person may have... Um, at the start of this relationship or, or somewhere in this relationship, this person may have may have not given enough or didn't want didn't want this as bad as you wanted it or something like this. This could have been very very one sided at one time. Okay, now they want to give you equal give and take. Now they want to invest in you, okay? Uh huh. High priestess energy, you already know this though. You know this, okay? You feel this, so you're very intuitive, all knowing. Maybe you know it because you have, you were the one who ended this, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, however this went down, this person is, this is not easy for this person to forget. This person is, has not, it's not been easy for this person to walk away and, for, and forget about you, okay? It's just not easy for this to end or something like that, okay? Even for you, okay? You know this is best for you. You know this is the best answer for you. But you're still holding on to them energetically as well. We have the star card here. Okay. Yeah. You're still holding on to hope. You're still hoping to pray that this person get their shit together. Yeah. You want to still work on this with them. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's an interference here. We got the queen of wands in reverse. There's a very, this is a very cold, distant, bitter, angry female energy that's interfering here. Okay. Very low vibrational. Mm -hmm. very bitter, very nasty, okay? This person could be in a relationship with this type of energy or related to this type of energy, okay? All right, however you look at it, this is some sort of interference, okay? This person could be backbiting you, talking about you. This person could be the reason why this person will come towards you wholeheartedly, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not to worry, though. You got a surprise coming in, okay? You got some good news coming in with this page of wands, okay? Yeah. Virgo, you're about to get back everything that you lost, okay, with this Five of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're going to be regaining what was lost, what was taken from you, okay, rather it's money, property, this person, okay? 
it's like the universe is going to start giving you back everything that you lost tenfold. Yeah. It's like the universe is going to restore what the locusts have eaten. Okay. All right. Have eaten. You're going to get what you want. Point blank period. Rather it's this person or not. Rather it's with this person or not. You're going to get the outcome that you want because a lot is being returned back to you. Okay. You might have experienced a lot of loss due to some jealous ass energy, some evil eyes is coming back. You could have received, um, you could have lost money or, or positions or opportunities or this person due to some jealous ass evil eyes. Okay. Well, nonetheless, this is all about to be restored to you. You're going to get it back, Virgo, whatever you felt, you know, you had a period of bad luck. You, you took a lot of L's. It's going, to all, it's going to all be returned back to you, okay? You could have took a lot of L's due to this energy that you was connected to or that you was interested in, okay? Because if this person is connected to this person, this person is very not very negative too. This person is just as low vibrational as this energy they are connected with, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you need to clean your energy, okay? You need to clean, take a spiritual bath, clean your energy. Because if you've been having sex with this person, if you've been energetically connected to this person in any way, you done picked up some stuff. You know you guys are empaths, okay? Need I say more? High priest is energy, okay? Or priest, whoever's here. You could be high priest or high priestess, Okay? With this high priestess card, all right? Some of you are having sex and you're engaging with energies that's very low vibrational, okay? And you pick stuff up from that very low vibration, vibrational energy, that frequency. Everything is frequency. Everything is energy. You have to keep yours at a, at a certain level, okay? And engaging or interacting with low vibrational people such as this. Because some of my brothers is dating a very low vibrational energy. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a bitter bitch. This is a bitter woman. Very mean. Very nasty. Okay. Very deliberate. Very a matter of fact. And loves revenge. Okay. All right. Now, Virgo brothers, if that's not y'all, then my Virgo sisters, if you're dealing with a guy, they're connected to this energy. Hell, you could be connected to this energy. Okay, this could be somebody who just don't like you. All right? However you look at it, there's an interference here. There's a block. Okay? And it looks like it's coming from the person that you're connected to. All right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The person that you're connected to, if they're connected to this person, before you even see them, they need to get a dip. They need to go to the nearest river, ocean, and get a dip. Okay? They need to raise their frequencies, okay? This is why they have lost. This is why nothing is working out for them. This is why it's so much conflict when it comes to them. This person might argue all the time over the smallest shit. They might never be happy. They may complain, 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 complain all the time. And you're like, good Lord, what is it now, okay? Mm -hmm. Very low vibrational energy, okay? You tell this person that it's nothing that you can do for this person unless they do it for themselves and they need to clean their energy. They need to jump into some freaking water. Okay. This person could also be very um, um, confused with all these swords. Okay. Very, very argumentative. A lot of conflict. Okay. They may blame you for a lot of shit that you know nothing about. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person is just very, very confused. Very tortured energy because they re they with a very tortured energy themselves. Okay, this is why you guys I tell you Virgos all the time you're earth benders. Okay, you're very empathic naturally. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have to protect your energy. Got to be very mindful who you lay down with. Your frequency is is so important. Okay, and if you're empathic with that frequency, you're going to take on a lot that's not yours. This is why your energy is so important. You must clean it. You must protect it. You must stay around people that's going to heal you, make you happy, make you feel better, not make you sick, not cause you any kind of chaotic energy, not cause you any kind of heartache, okay? Not cause you any kind of stress at all, all right? Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Let's pull some clarifiers. How about that? Spirit come through for Virgo. What do we have? What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Mm -hmm. Romantic love affair. Okay. Sex fix. 
secret lover, fuck buddy. Some of you are having an affair with this person, okay? Some of you are already married and you have an affair with this person. Or your person is married and you have an affair with this person, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody's always partying too. Somebody loves to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Somebody's always having guests over, Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody like to travel, okay? Somebody's never home, always want to go. Very busy energy. Can't sit still for shit. Somebody likes to see the world. Mm -hmm. This person gives you a dirty offer. All right, This person, is just, they just don't invest enough. They don't give you enough, okay? This is according to how this person thinks about you. This person don't think fondly about you. They don't think highly about you at all, okay? It, it, it could be somebody you know that you know is backbiting you to this person, telling them all kinds of fuck shit about you that they know nothing about, just to turn this person off. Okay, girl fight. Yeah, arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. You're competing with this person, okay? Uh-huh. This person don't offer you much because whoever you're competing with, whoever is, is in competition with you, this person talks bad about you, okay? Mm -hmm. This person might be losing a great deal of money, bankrupt. They might have to file bankrupt to save what they have or something like that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is having a great deal of legal troubles, legal issues, court, immigration. They need to hire some sort of lawyer. Something is not right there, okay? Somebody has to go to court, all right? Somebody has a court date coming up, okay, with them scales there. Some of y'all is definitely dealing with a Libra, okay, with all these swords, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but I'm strongly coming up Libra, okay? Okay, screenshots, getting the evidence, proof, facts. Somebody's trying to catch you guys cheating too. We have a romantic love affair with screenshots, getting evidence. Somebody wants to keep y'all, wants to catch y'all cheating or or trying to catch y'all cheating because if they do that, they can like, you know, go to court and say, well, this person was cheating on me with this person. Okay, this person might be chasing you too, Virgo. For those of you who let this go and you walked on, yeah, you're running. And this person is chasing, okay? It looks like the tables have turned, okay? If this was some sort of twin flame connection with this person, you might used to chase this person. Well, now this person is going to be chasing you. Now this person has something to say to you, okay? Yeah, this is a thin line between love and hate. At times, this person loves you. At times, this person hates you. This is why you get this dirty offer. It's because somebody talks shit about you to this person. And this person is very naive or easy to easy to influence. They're a little weak at times, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, they be ignoring what they truly feel. Too afraid of what other people think. But you got an offer coming in if you want it. Okay, I doubt if you want it. I don't feel that you want it, Virgo. I think you're a little tired of this fuck shit with this person. Okay? Some of you are dating somebody that's younger than you, too. This person is very immature. Okay? And if you say, well, well this person is older than me, then they're just very immature. Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Lord have mercy will be got here. You're going to receive something from this person. Okay? This person is something... This person is a bully, too. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. This person could be a little bully, okay? Uh-huh. This person keeps you waiting a lot or something like that. Okay, they make you wait a lot, but they want you to be there at their beck and call whenever they show up or something like that. Okay, you might have had to cuss this person out more times than you care to admit. Uh-huh. You might have told this person you got me chopped. You don't know who I am. And clearly they don't. Whatever the, whatever the last person tolerates, they want you to tolerate it too. And I don't think that's your style. Uh-uh. I don't think that's your style. Let's see what else we got. Come through spirit. Ugh. Come through spirit. Let me get another deck. Let's see what we got over here. Mm -hmm. Come through spirit. What else do you have for Virgo? Oh, turn this up. Okay, good. 
Mm -hmm. Ritual bath. Okay, take better care of yourself, Virgo. Mm -hmm. It's time for some self-pampering. Okay, all this attention that you keep giving to this person who gives you half-ass effort, put it on yourself. Okay? All right, make yourself a priority. Enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. You've been trying to twist this person's arm to see who you're worth, to see who you are, to, to let you love them. Don't keep begging this person to let you love them, okay? Mm -mm. You got no business begging this person to let you love them. Hell with that. Uh -uh. Enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Yeah, some of you need to rest and recharge, okay? Rest for proper energetic health, okay? Careful not to overload the body overwork the body okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah some of you need to chill just relax okay you've been running 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 chasing 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 trying to make this person see your worth trying to see this make this person uh do right by you mm -mm. if you gotta work that goddamn hard work hard and getting your money but if you gotta work hard and making somebody love you it just ain't worth the work shit all right, call on your deities, holy spirits, okay? Uh -huh. Many will be inspired by you. You will become a great leader. Okay, start calling on your deities till your deities is there to help you, okay? Mm -hmm. Supernatural spirits, holy spirits, okay? They are there for you. They're your ancestors. Those are the Anunnaki's, okay? Call on your deities. They're there for you, okay? We got a few of them here with us now. We got Oshun, Yemaye, Olukan. Oshun, Iyegwa, Abatala, Chango, Ogun, Orula. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely deal with air sign. Be bold and speak your mind. Expect to receive messages or phone call. Virgo, stop holding back if you're dealing with an air sign. You know an air sign only respect disrespect. You can't be sweet and nice with them. They take that as a weakness, okay? You got to cuss them a new name, all right? I know you guys don't like to be that way. You're so sweet. You're so kind. You got that bleeding heart. But, honey, if any of y'all are dealing with an air sign, and if you are, you already know what I'm talking about. You cannot be too sweet with them. They'll run all over your ass, okay? Mm -hmm. Speak your mind and be very, speak bold words. Be very direct. No nonsense, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have Coven, okay? New people will enter your life. You're about to meet your soul tribe, okay? Some of you have already moved on, okay? You're hanging out more. You're going out. Having you some outdoor dinners and outdoor lunches, okay? Yeah, you're losing weight. You're looking good, all right? You're just enjoying you, all right? Some of you are taking some vacation. Some of you have been to the islands. You done jumped into some water. Kudos to you. Stay in that water. Okay, we got sound healing, okay? Your triggers, your triggers are your teachers. Some news will bring you healing, okay? Some of you are definitely going through a healing yeah, you've been doing some healing, okay? Some of you have been going to Dr. Uh, G. Rex, getting some um, getting some in-depth healing done. A couple of my subscribers reached out to me and told me that they have, okay? Kudos to you. All right, keep going. Do what's best for you. Heal that energy, okay? Heal that past trauma, all right? Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. All right, mirror. You might be mirroring this person, too. Someone is mirroring you anyway. Take a hard look in the mirror. Okay, somebody wants to copy off of you. Somebody wants to be you. Somebody's mimicking you, Virgo. Okay, what you do, they do. Okay, all right. This could be a friend. This could be your child or something like that. All right, you're some sort of inspiration, okay? They look, for, they look to you for advice or they look to you for what to do next or something like that, okay? All right, we have water. Okay, release any negative emotions. Love will find its way to you. Some of you definitely need to get into that water, take a spiritual bath, jump into the ocean, do whatever you got to do. We have cowries as well, okay? This is a creative period for you. New ideas could bring prosperity, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you definitely have a deity that's in the water, either Oshun or Yemaye, okay? They love the cowries as well, okay? You can wear it in your hair. You can put it around your neck. Wear it as a piece of jewelry. Cowries bring you good luck, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have voodoo magic, events that change your life forever. Surprising life events will take will take place. You got some changes coming in. It's going to be some surprises, okay? Surprises, unforeseen surprises. It's going to blow your mind, okay? It's going to be better than what you expect, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys need this, all right? Petition paper, get clear on what you want, okay? You get to choose how to proceed, Okay? Some of you need to start writing down your desires, your dreams. That's, a, that's an excellent manifestation tool. Uh huh. I was asking you guys to participate in the um, 
manifestation exercise with Dr. G. Rex, the one who does the in-depth healing, okay? And this is one of the things he asks you to do. Write down what you want, okay? Full moons are great for that, especially the one we just had, okay? Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the Book of Shadows. Keep your work a secret, okay? The truth is being kept from you. All right, you are. You guys already know the truth has been kept from you for a long time, okay? Walk in silence, do what's best for you. You don't need nobody's approval, okay? All right? And you let other people do what they do, and you do what's best for you, okay? Some people are still walking around very much in a illusion, delusional, I should say, okay? But you don't have to try to win them over. You don't have to try to convince them, let them find their way. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also have visualization. Okay. If you if you visualize it, materialize it. Focus on what you can control. And what you can control is what you manifest. Okay. So be mindful what you what you're calling into your world, what you're calling in into your life. Okay. That manifestation tools can be very powerful. So be very direct on what you want. Or you're going to manifest more of the same, and you don't want to do that. Okay. When you know better, you do better. All right. Mm -hmm. We got love, key magic. A closed heart is now open. You are the key to someone's heart. Okay, again, I'm going to tell you, this person loves you. But it looks to me like it's a thin line between love and hate. They love you and hate you at the same goddamn time. They want you and don't want you at the same goddamn time. Ain't nobody got time, okay? This person might realize or they might feel that you're too good for them or something like that. Somebody might say, oh, they think they better than us and get this person all feeling the same way about you or some fuck shit like that, okay? You know, some of you are better than them. Some of them need to count their blessing that you even looked at. All right? Mm -hmm. We got hot foot powder, okay? Hot foot powder is used in African-American hoodoo. Folk magic to make unwanted individuals leave. It's a potent tool made of a blend of ingredients, Okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody may be trying to make you leave. Watch what you watch where y'all go when you walk outside your house. Okay. Somebody might be trying to break y'all up. Okay. They might sprinkle something in front of your door. That car came out for a reason. Okay. Throw some black salt out there whenever you feel the need, especially after a rain. Okay. All right. Throw some black salt out there. Watch your step. Okay. Protect yourself. If you see something don't look right, just throw some black salt on it. Okay. Mm hmm. We got star anise, okay? Star anise is believed to enhance psychic powers and promote intuition due to its mystical properties and distinct fragrances, okay? This is a spice, okay? Some of you can put it in a little mojo bag and you can carry it in your bag. You can carry it in your bra, something like that. Star anise is also a very, um, very, it's very good for manifesting money. It's very good for good luck, opportunities, blessings, Okay, it's a very powerful spice. It's not just for making pies and cakes, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. We got devil's shoestring. Okay, the devil's shoestring root wars off evil and protects against intrusion by tripping up the devil. Okay, put a little piece in your bra or your pocketbook. Let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, this, and I mean a little piece. You don't need it much because it's very powerful, but this is pretty much what it looks like. Break a little piece off or something like that. You make mojo bags with it. Okay, this is double shoestring. You see that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this bag says, uh, trip up the devil or hobble, okay? Or hobble, him, or, hum, or hobble him if he can't get in the house, okay? Carry it for gambling, luck, for job getting, protection. From curses, bad luck, and unwanted spirits. Break curses, hexes, bad luck, binding an enemy. Okay? There you have it. <clears throat> Get yourself some double shoe strength. And do what you gotta do to protect yourself from all this goddamn jealousy that's running around around here. Okay? And if you say, well, I'm burger or walker, I don't believe in that. You don't have to believe in it. The other ones do. You gonna let them get you? Shit. Got to fight back. We got red string. Mm -hmm. The red string has a rich history and diverse symbolism. It is often worn or tied around petitions for protection, faith, good luck, strength, and connection. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
come through spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got Nazar. Uh, now I tell y'all to carry this all the time, okay? And the actual name for it is Nazar, but I call it the evil eye. <laughs> I always tell you guys to get one. Let me see. I think I got one around here. I say carry one or something like that. Y'all know the evil eye to protect yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we have Nazar. Okay, Nazar is a compelling charm that wars off the evil eye. It must be hung in your home or car to war to or worn as jewelry to ensure maximum protection. I think I'll get one for my car. Thank you, Spirit, for putting that to my attention. I think I'll get one of them for my car. Okay, mm -hmm. we have selective. Okay, choose wisely who and what you give your time to. Prioritize your peace and growth. You are in control of your destiny, Virgo. Okay, choose wisely who you spend any time with. Okay, all right. Your energy is priceless. All right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we also have horseshoe. Okay, uh, the horseshoe is believed to bring good luck and protection against negative energy. It wards off negativity and vice positive vibes when nailed above the door. Now, I have a client. Shout out to Misha. Me, me. Hey, baby girl. Misha said, Virgo the Oracle, you got your horseshoe? This was for the New Year's, honey. I said, what you mean, horseshoe? And she put it down. She put me down with it. Shout out to me, me. Mm -hmm. Y'all hang a horseshoe above your door. Okay? Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of you definitely have to uh, tend to your altar or put one up. Ancestral altar, okay? Honoring and connecting with the ancestors is essential because they paved the way for our existence, okay? One way to do this is by creating an ancestral altar, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That altar in your home will benefit you more than you know, okay? And I'm noticing that message is coming up more and more and more, as particularly for Virgo, okay? Particularly for Virgo. I see it in my other videos too, but not, I guess, because I only do Virgo, right? We got invocation, okay? Mm -hmm. Invocation is summoning or calling upon a spirit, demon, deity, or other supernatural entities, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you have been praying for help. You've been praying for answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been asking for some supernatural assistance, okay? Not to worry, whatever you're worrying about is going to be just fine. We have the Rose of Jericho, okay? Mm -hmm. Embrace the blessings of the Rose of Jericho. Place it in water by your door with coins for prosperity and luck, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the little small one. I have one, but it's at the door. I'm not going to get it. It's it's a little small little bud, okay? But when you place it in the water, it, it expands, it opens up. You throw some coins in it, and it brings prosperity in the, in the house, okay? Virgo, these messages is coming out for you for a reason, okay? Don't let them fall. Don't let these messages fall. Get them. Jot them down, all right? And if you're already doing it, you're good, all right? If you're not, get, get to planning. We have yellow candle, okay? Yellow candle represents vitality and joy, okay? and are used in spiritual practices for manifestation and devotion, okay? They boost self-confidence and are linked to prosperity and success, okay? Uh, Oshun loves a yellow candle, all right? You can burn it towards her for her, okay? Giving her thanks. Uh, petition her for any kind of assistance that you need, okay? We have smudge, okay? Smoke is believed to open the soul, allowing spirits to bring healing powers and remove negative energy. Smudging whether done alone or in a group ceremony. It's a practice to cleanse and purify. Many of you need to smudge your home, okay? Smudge yourself, all right? Any new items that you have bought, make sure you smudge them, especially if you bought them from some sort of uh, secondhand store or somebody that was selling it, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Mercury Dime, okay? Okay, wear the silver mercury dime on your ankle as a charm, but be cautious of its darkening hue. It can warn you of curses and crosses thrown at you. Watch your step. So if you're wearing one around your ankle and your ankle starts starts turning dark, it's letting you know that somebody's throwing some fuck shit on you, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Because you can get them at any botanical store or something like that. Mm -hmm. We've got a mojo bag, okay? Upon receiving your mojo bag, name it and state your desired outcome. Breathe into it and carry it with you discreetly. Don't let nobody touch it. Don't let nobody see it, okay? Okay, we have ancestor veneration okay ancestor veneration involves honoring your ancestors and seeking their guidance as they hold significant influences over the affairs of the living i promise you you guys definitely need to reach out to the ancestors more okay they're there for you they're there for the call and they didn't give you everything that you need to reach out to them okay all right let's do one more let's do one more then we're gonna be done virgos until the next time. One more. Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Virgo, who the sneaky ass energy around you? Somebody sneaky as fuck? Sly, cunning, tricky. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's spying on you. Somebody that wants to know what you're doing. Somebody can't figure you out. Okay? Yeah, this is somebody who thinks they slick. Okay? You might be driving past your house. Walking past your house. Okay? Like I said, if you guys see anything outside your door that don't look right... Throw some black salt on it, okay? Carry your black salt in, on you, all right? Yeah, may every evil eye go blind. You got a lot of jealousy. This is the sneaky-ass energy. You got a lot of jealousy, Virgo. Lordly, lordly. I wish I could say that you that it's going to go away and you will never have it again. But, you know, some people are just there. That's just who they are, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do to me every time I pull it out. Captain Save that sage that hoe. Sage them. Just sage them. Sneaky ass, jealous ass hoes. Just sage them. Just sage, honey. Just sage. Go outside your door, sage them. Lord, have, have mercy. Sage around your car. Uh-huh. Just sage. <laughs> just sage. Something is brewing, too. Some of you definitely got to sage. Some, somebody's up to no good. Somebody trying to get you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all because of jealousy, too. Envy, tension, unsettled, admiration, rival rivalry, spotlight. Okay? Somebody going to turn around and get messed up. Somebody going to turn around and jack themselves up. Okay? Spirit is letting you know somebody's up to no damn good. Okay? Sneaky-ass energy, all right? It's because of jealousy, all right? Keep saging, though. But somebody's going to turn around and get their feelings hurt. Okay, Virgo? Messing with you. All right? Somebody going to... They going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got transformation, metamorphosis, evolution, illumination, renewal, journey, mm -hmm. mystique, awakening, emergence, radiance, grace, eleva elevation, and transcendent. This is what's wrong. You're moving on. You're transcending. You're growing. You're blossoming. Okay? This is why you're garnishing so much jealousy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Burning bridges, yeah. A lot of people that burn their bridges with you. You're not letting their asses back in. This is what they. This is why they mad. You didn't cut a lot of people off due to their jealous ass energy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Stay protected. Stay ready, so you won't have to get ready. And whoever these people are that's trying to start some fuck shit with you, they're gonna be really sorry that they did. Okay. They're gonna be really sorry that they did. This is why you have to reach out to your ancestors. The ancestors protect shit that baby they'll do it, they'll handle it and you don't even you don't even know it needed to be handled. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we got I am one in a million type of love. I'm not a one in a million type of love. I'm a once in a lifetime type of experience. Okay. All right. Whoever this person is that lost their chance with you, they will feel some kind of way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They definitely want to feel some kind of way. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Some of them feel that you have a very strong tongue, okay? Possessing a powerful gift of prophecy. This individual can speak events into existence over others' lives, okay? The words that manifest destiny. They must wield their ability with care and wisdom, mindful of the impact that they speak. Watch what y'all say about people because it's going to come to pass. 
If y'all say that, that that fool days is numbered, shit, they might that might be the last couple of time, weeks you see him alive. So be careful what you say out your mouth, okay? Some of you got the power of life and death on your tongue. Be very careful, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also have I Might Be Sad Today, but I'm getting my bag tomorrow. Okay, come on out that sad-ass energy. That's a low vibrational energy. You're going to be fine. You're very blessed, Virgo, okay? Your cup runneth over with blessings, okay? Uh-huh. This person who wants to come back in you, into you, mm, come back in you. Oh, somebody wants some sex with you. This person wants to come back towards you, okay? Giving you, giving my heart to you. Somebody wants to come back and give their heart to you, okay? Be very mindful of that person. If It looks like it's a love and hate type relationship, okay? It might be an evil love, okay? This person might just want to love you so they can treat you mean or something like that. They really don't like you. They really, you really don't have, uh, they really don't have your best interest or something like that. So be very selective with everybody to say that they love you. Tell them to prove it, you know? And if if you look at their actions and if it's not all good, yeah, you side-eye that shit. Side-eye it. Okay? And many of you already know this. You're going to this spiritual awakening. You're very intuitive. You're very psychic. Use your, use your gifts. Use them. Don't ignore what you feel just because you like somebody. Just because they're pretty. Just because they feel good when you hold them tight. Who cares? Okay? Read the energy. See it for what it is. I don't care if they hanging low or hanging high. Okay? I don't care what it is. Okay? See it for what it is. All right? You can always get better. Know that. You're navigating a spiritual awakening, shedding old ways for new insights and purpose. Embrace the transformative journey towards deep self-awareness and universal connection. Yeah, you guys are definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening here, okay? Mm -hmm. Spirit, come through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what you guys will be seeking. Peace, surrender, peace, hope, truth, resolve, harmony. Unity, ceasefire, fatigue, negotiation, release, reconciliation. You just want peace. You don't want the battle. You don't want to fight. You don't want to hurt nobody. Okay? Tell anybody who attacks you they're going to be hurting themselves because your ancestors is definitely not going to ha have it. They're not going to take it. Mm -mm. No. They're going to block whatever fuck shit is being sent your way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Your family is very loyal to you. We got loyalty. Okay? It's like a dog. Some of you might have been dreaming about a dog. You, some of you might have a dog or something like that. Okay? Very, very, very protective. All right? Your dog is very protective over you. Okay? Some of you are about to get a house or you're about to buy a house. All right? I hope you enjoyed this read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. Okay? If you like my reading, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I should.